today we are talking about a traditionally low tech space, the doctor's office. While healthcare has come a long way through innovation and scientific breakthroughs, many patients still have one very old school way to communicate with their doctor's office, and that's by picking up the old telephone. I am joined now by Jojo Roy, CEO from Sequence. Now, Sequence is a Bay Area tech company. They specialize in research and case studies, and then they use that information to help companies either build their brand or improve their customer experience. So that's what Sequence does. Jojo, thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Here. Let's talk about this. It's 2016, so why is this, there's this break in technology when it comes to a simple thing as of communicating with your doctor in their office. Yeah, I think it's, I think there are a couple of reasons. One big one is even though we end up spending a lot of money and we are actually consumers, when we are not feeling well or need to call the doctor, we don't think of it as actually a transaction or something that we're paying for. And so our, our standards are, have been very different. And it's a very complicated system with you know, doctor's offices, healthcare providers, insurance companies, test labs, and so there are all these different players that have to work together for you to get a service, and it doesn't necessarily all hang together in a way that it should. And I'm sure you maybe can relate, or people at home can relate, I can think of trying to call my doctor's office, and you have to time it at the right time, either right when they open, because if not, you'll be on hold forever. It, it becomes a complicated process just to make an appointment. It absolutely does, and then what we found in, in our uh, the survey that we did was that 88% of people still uh, use the phone to actually make the appointment. Well, let's show those numbers. Here they are. So 88% of you said are still scheduling appointments via phone instead of some sort of online system. 61% of consumers say they would like a text alert before they leave for the doctor's office to know the doctor is running behind. And I love that because I know when you're close with, I'll just give you a quick personal example. Nice. My hairstylist, she was running late. She texted me, hey, let's make it 2.30 instead of 2. Great. Yeah, and, and people want that type of experience. When why not? Yeah, why not? The, the technology largely exists. It just hasn't been put together in a way. And again, I think our expectations around healthcare are a bit different because if you look at something like uh, making a reservation for a flight or mm -hmm. a hotel or even booking a reservation for dinner, we're accustomed to doing that from our smartphone, on demand, you know, getting a car to come pick us up f somewhere. We get, we're, ex we're accustomed to on demand, knowing where we stand and when the car is going to come pick us up, and yet we kind of, you know, leave that all aside when it's time to actually make a visit to the I doctor. think you nailed it, though, about standards and expectations. We just don't expect it, so we're, we just go along with it. Let's put up the other numbers. We have 63% of people reported that their biggest stress related to doctor's appointment is waiting, right? You're in that office and you're just waiting and all of the uncertainty that that causes, or even hearing back from them, right, if you're waiting for a result. And then 85% of people say they wait between 10 and 30 minutes to see their health provider. I think that's generous, 10, 10 to 30. I think that's right. That right. Be right. You may, you may. When we, when we did the survey, people might have been pretty charitable as far as how long they actually end up waiting. So, what's the solution? I saw a prototype that you guys are working on. I, I think it's fantastic, and it would work. Explain it to us. Yeah. So, the the idea was like if if the big pain point was the wait, and as you said, sometimes the wait is when you're making the phone call and you're put on hold, and other times the wait is when you're sitting in the doctor's office. We looked at it and said, are there places where we can actually, um, you know take those moments of waiting and actually make them productive. So instead of waiting, you know, could you actually interact with um, a, a nurse or someone in the office you know, via text message or within an app so that the actual, the information is being shared and being recorded and it gets to the physician so that when you are there, if you go to the doctor's office, it's a very streamlined, seamless experience. Or as we kind of mapped out in our prototype, there's an opportunity to say, well, you know, can I send a physician's assistant or a nurse to the person to have them seen so that they can quickly be, you know, get the prescription for something which may be sort of a routine, you know, a cold or a flu, but doesn't require you to take three hours out of your day to go and see the doctor. And then the other part that was interesting in the um, in both the survey and then how we brought it to life in this prototype was the idea of transparency in terms mm -hmm. of how much I'm going to pay and not having to fill out my insurance information for the tenth time, you know, in the tenth visit. Um, so you know there are all of these front. things exactly. You know up front how much you're paying. The information is all kind of like shared with the right parties. So it's not rocket science, but there is like really an opportunity to make the experience better for for patients. Well, let's hope uh, with your work and others out there sooner than later. Jojo Roy, CEO from Sequence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kiva. It's all great right, being here. thank you. Okay.